I am fasting today in solidarity with the 84 hunger strikers detained at two detention centers in Kern County. What are they guilty of? They are speaking up against unsafe working conditions, dirt poor pay, and inhumane living conditions. They are forced to clean black mold in showers with improper protection. For this, they are getting paid 13 cents an hour, less than what is being paid at state prisons. Two hours of pay gives them enough for barely one five-minute video call. They are served expired food, given poor medical care, and are denied visits with loved ones. For almost a year, these men complained before deciding to engage in the hunger strike. For this, some strikers were met by officers in riot gear carrying batons and pepper spray, dragged to the floor and handcuffed for transfer to El Paso, Texas. They are people seeking asylum from dangerous and impoverished conditions in their own countries, trying to scratch out a better future for their families. We have a broken immigration system that has as its cornerstone jailing migrants. ICE costs Americans $2.9 billion a year for the 26,000 people detained. That's $112,000 per detainee. Family case management programs based in communities have been shown to get migrants to their hearings and immigration appointments for one-sixth this cost. Why am I fasting today? My faith community is the Presbyterian Church in Chinatown in San Francisco. We have adopted something from the National Church called the Matthew 25 Initiative. This biblical passage says that how we treat the most vulnerable in society is important to God. These migrants are indeed amongst the most vulnerable. In fasting, I am engaging in the work of proclaiming release to the captives and good news to the poor.